So what was it like being Ahab in this world, going out on a daily basis trying to kill the biggest fish? That well, swam I, I, I didn't know any better because I was a northern kid, and northern kids are Yankees, and Yankees aren't wanted in the South Florida thing, and there had never been a Yankee that came down to South Florida and picked up a fly rod and went in Biscayne Bay and started to stir up any trouble. So I felt really like an outsider. I had a real chip on my shoulder, and I wanted to catch the biggest fucker I could find. Did that stem also from your previous athletic years? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I remember you were saying one time, you mentioning that this the, this fish, the poon, brought back your locker room. Oh, yeah. Explain that. Well, ju just the camaraderie and the thing. It was never so much. I was never really, other than maybe one or one person, upset about this. But it was always just me and the fish. Because the fish was such a phenomenal competitor. You know, he had everything. He had speed, grace, athleticism. And he didn't want to get caught. At least I didn't think he didn't want to get caught then because I didn't know how to catch him. And we broke everything. We broke lines. We broke hooks. We broke rods. We broke our minds. We broke marriages. <laughs> we broke the whole thing. It was, it was wild. And then we learned. We learned how to catch him. And it was always me and the fish. I always wanted... I want to teach the poon a lesson. I got him on. All right, now we're going to teach him a lesson. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> what was the lesson he taught you? Uh, humility. The chance that the same thing you learn skiing. He's in the driver's seat. We're just going down the road. And it's you you know as well as I do. The poon's in the driver's seat. When you fish for the biggest poon ever, when you fish for only a personal record, it's a very different thing than just trying to catch a fish. And I've always sort of been in that mode, never wanted just because I caught fish. And I wanted to catch a big fish. I wanted to catch a world record. And... 95, maybe not 90, 80% of the time, it's a failure. But every now and then, you get success. And that success, to me, was so much more important to catch that fish than to just go fishing. Because I don't think I could have gone fishing. I had to do this. Was there a point in time where you realized that this light bulb went off and it changed your life? Was there one fish in particular that you're talking about? When I saw him come down the thing, woof, gold, woof, <laughs> woof, and it was blowing so fucking hard we couldn't get the fly out of the boat. We had three anchors out. Cast over there! I can't get the fly. It's stuck in the back of my head, <laughs> asshole. <laughs>